Dialogue can make or break a story. Strong dialogue can lift your story to new heights, while weak dialogue can turn a reader off. So how can we make sure our dialogue is working for us and not against us? Well, that's today's writing video, and it's coming up next. Hello writers, Jessica Brody here, author of the number one best-selling plotting guides, Save the Cat Writes a Novel, Save the Cat Writes a Young Adult Novel, plus over 20 novels, and the founder of the Writing Mastery Academy. I feel like I spend a lot of time talking about plot, but let's change gears today and talk about what is arguably one of the most important elements of compelling fiction writing. The key to writing strong dialogue, I believe, is to think of it as another extension of your character development. Your dialogue is just another way for you to reveal your characters to the reader in an engaging way. What a character says and how they say it says a lot about them. In other words, we can make dialogue do some of our characterization work for us. Why not put our dialogue to work? If it's going to take up space on the page, you better be doing some good work. When we start thinking of dialogue in this way, it makes it more impactful and purposeful and opens our creative minds to ways that we can use our dialogue to write in an engaging, revealing way. As an example, let's look at the same conversation written in two different ways. In this first example, the dialogue is doing absolutely nothing to develop or reveal the characters. It's not doing any work, so we could pretty much just call it lazy dialogue. What are you wearing today? asked Lucy. I don't know, replied Jen. What about your blue dress? Jen shrugged. I guess that could work. Okay, so what did we learn from this, apart from the fact that Jen has a blue dress? This is an example of lazy dialogue that doesn't do any work. Now let's look at this same conversation rewritten so that the dialogue is put to work. Is that really what you're going to wear today? Asked Lucy. I don't know, replied Jen. Maybe? Why, is it bad? Too conservative? Not conservative enough? This is hopeless. Calm down, breathe. Just put on the chambray shift dress. It goes with your eyes. Yes, right, that will work. Notice how without even adding any more description or changing the dialogue tags, the phrases that identify who is speaking, you suddenly know a lot more about this friendship. Lucy is the calmer take charge one, who also appears to know a little bit about fashion, while Jen tends to overreact and overthink. This kind of dialogue is called characterizing dialogue. It reveals things about your character just through what they say. By paying attention to what your characters say and how they say it, you can take a blah, seemingly nothing happens conversation and suddenly put it to work, turning it into working dialogue. Or even if you do have dialogue that conveys something important that's happening, you can make your dialogue do double work by not only conveying what's happening, but also revealing character at the same time. The best way to practice characterizing your dialogue is to write dialogue without using any tags or descriptions of how the characters are speaking, letting the dialogue stand on its own. Which means instead of revealing a character's anger by writing, stop it, she screamed, clenching her fists and breathing so hard, I was certain steam would start coming out of her nose. You could let the dialogue do all the work by writing something like, stop it, just stop. I can't listen to this anymore. I just can't, please go. So here's my challenge to you. Take a scene of dialogue you're working on, either writing or revising, and remove all the dialogue tags and descriptions. Your scene should start to look like a stage play, except without the character names written. See if the dialogue stands on its own and speaks for itself. Is the meaning or sentiment of the scene still clear? Can you tell who's talking without the tags? If not, try tweaking the dialogue instead of adding tags or descriptions, which, let's be honest, we writers can sometimes use as a crutch to avoid doing more creative dialogue work. This challenge will force you to rely on dialogue to do some of your characterizing work and help you practice writing more revealing, engaging dialogue that serves multiple functions in your story. Of course, you can always go back in later and add the tags and descriptions, but you'll probably find that you don't have to add quite as many as you thought you would because you've written the dialogue to speak for itself. If you want to learn more about writing effective dialogue, definitely check out my Foundations of Fiction online course, which is available on demand in the Writing Mastery Academy, where you can get unlimited access to all my online courses. I'll put a link in the description below so you can enroll today and start leveling up your fiction writing game. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want more writing tips. Until next time, everyone, happy writing.